Hey guys, Jungle Explorer here. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to catch some fish out of this little creek here. Now, this looks like a creek, but actually this is flood water. This is a drainage system. Um, in a week, this will be bone dry. There won't be any water here. Three days ago, where I'm standing and shooting this video from right now, was completely under several feet of water and it was completely flooded. So fish come up this creek um, whenever it rains hard, about once or twice a year. They get caught in this pool here, and then when the river goes down, they all die. So I'm coming here, and I'm going to catch some, and I'm uh, going to catch some unique fish here, some red horse minnows, which I really love to use for bait, keep in an aquarium, and uh, use them for bait when I go fishing, stuff like that. So this is what I'm going to be doing today, be showing you that. Look here, man, one cast, got a ton of sunfish here, and a couple of bullhead catfish, nice size sunfish. Gotta watch out with these little bullheads here. Buddy, they'll get you. Those are great for my little stock pond. Put these in here. There's some water on these fish. Now Shad, I'm not going to keep them, just going to throw Shad back. Alright, so we've got a, there's a green sunfish here, some people call it a slimy, and some of, some of the other people call it a mud bass. Um, this is a largemouth bass, and it is not legal to catch them by throw net, so this one's going to have to go back. All the fish that I'm keeping today are legal to catch by throw net where I am at. You might need to check your local regulations about using a net. Uh, always follow your local laws. But where I'm at and where I'm doing this is totally legal, so um, check this fish out. This is a orange spotted sunfish. They don't get much bigger. This is a full-grown adult. This is about as big as they get. This is a male, and he's in full fawn color, so he's real bright. Just a gorgeous fish. Look at that. Man, look at that fish. He's just absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to throw him over here. That's a nice green sunfish. They get a lot bigger than this. These are really good for stock ponds. Haha, <laughs> stop biting. This here is a bullhead catfish. Um, they don't get very big. And in most states, they're not regulated. They're kind of considered a trap fish, but they're a lot of fun. And they are edible, but you got to watch out for them spines right there, buddy. Those will get you, and they'll put a hurting on you. So grab them like this, or like this. Use them spines and handle that way. You don't get you, and you can handle them safely. Got us a little river cod out here and want to get a pinch on me. Yeah, I'm gonna have it. And most of the green sunfish. Okay, let's see what we got here. Look at there. This is what's called a, rain, a red horse minnow here where I live. You can buy them in an aquarium and they're called a rainbow shiner. They're just a beautiful minnow. This is about as big as they get. They're wonderful fishing bait. There's a lot of them in here, but my net is the holes in there are so big that only the biggest males get caught. I'll use a little bit smaller net and I'll catch a bunch of these. Um, I've got a couple of big ones here, both males, another male here. I've got a long-eared sunfish right here. Some people call this a pumpkin seed, but technically it is a long-eared sunfish. And another orange-spotted sunfish right here. 
Here we have a male and female orange spotted sunfish. The males are a turquoise color with red fins. The females are real bland. They look almost exactly like a uh, small baby bluegill, but except they have these little brown specks on them. That tells you that they are a, a uh, orange spotted female. So that's a breeding pair right there. And some more orange spotted sunfish. Well, that's good. I love those orange spotted sunfish. They're great in aquariums, but they're a little aggressive for a good fish, so they got to be kept alone. Okay, so I already put couple of dozen big fish in here and this five gallon bucket's not going to keep them alive for long here uh i already see some slime developing here so what we need to do is transfer them to a bigger container with an aerator on it and what i've got here is just a standard storage tub and a seven dollar dual walmart aerator it's already running all right so just going to pour the fish in here. In Just gonna pour another bucket of water on here. Give it a little depth. Got the aerator going there. Now I'll put a cover on this. Keep them out of the sun, keep the water cool, and go catch some more. One green sunfish, two bullheads, and two channel cats. Where I'm fishing here, channel cats are considered a game fish and they have a minimum length, and you also cannot net them, so back in the water they go. Come on now. now these guys have some sharp spines too, and you gotta be careful for them. Well, I threw out in the deep, didn't catch it too many, but uh, let's try back up here close, see what we get. Good cast. Pull it in slowly. Oh, I got something. Oh. So this is your male and female red orange minnow right here. Go ahead and put those over there. What else to caught? Well, looky here. This here is actually a mosquito fish. And this fish is worldwide, around the world. You can find this little fish almost anywhere. And it actually eats mosquito larvae. So if you have a stock pond or a pond, you really want this mosquito fish in there because you know how when you're fishing on the edge of your little pond, there's always mosquitoes biting you. Well, if you have a bunch of these and they breed really fast, um, you won't have as many mosquitoes because they actually eat mosquito larvae and their official name is a mosquito fish. So I saw a pretty nice sized banded water snake crawl into that grass right there. And uh, what he's coming for is because he can smell the fish. So I'm going to put some minnows out on the shore and I'll bet he'll crawl out and eat them just here in a little bit. He was a good sized one. So I want to catch more of those um, red horns minnows, and this is a smaller net here. So I'm just going to come right down here, come right along this wall, see if I can pick some up. 